Oh, that's a beautiful flower. Hi, I'm Stan Lyle with MasterMath.info, and I've got some beautiful ideas on how to make math simpler for you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to graph and chart numbers. How do you graph and chart numbers in pre-algebra? Well, you need a few things. First of all, you need an equation. Let's just pick y equals 2x plus 3. Then you need a chart. You need an X column and a Y column because you're going to input some values into X and figure out what the corresponding Y values are. So let's input some values into X. Let's just pick minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. For each of those values, there's a corresponding Y value. Now, how do we figure that out? Well, let's look at not minus 1 first. If we substitute minus 1 for x in our equation, then we can recalculate that equation with the value minus 1 for x, and it results in an answer of y equals 1. Well, we want to put that into our chart. We would put where x is minus 1, we would uh, put a corresponding 1 for y. Then we go back and input an x value of 0 into the equation and come up with the corresponding y value and we come up with 3. And we do that for 1, 2, and 3 and all the x values and then we get y values for each of those x values. Well we've done the chart part, now let's do the graph part. We've got a chart with x values and their corresponding y values. Now we need to chart those x value, y value pairs onto a graph. Well, the first one is minus 1 and 1. So we'd find minus 1 on the x axis. Let's see, that would be right about there. There's minus 1. And then we find positive 1 on the y axis. It would be right about there. So I'm going to put a dot right there. Then we've got 0 and 3. Well, 0 on the x-axis is right there at the origin in the middle, and 3 goes up 1, 2, 3, so I'm going to put a dot right there. And I do that with the other values. Now i got five dots on my graph, and all that's left to do is draw a line that connects those five dots. And now I've got y equals 2x plus 3 graphed. Math is meaningless if it doesn't help you understand the real world. I hope today's lesson has helped you understand math a little bit better. This is Stan Lyle with MasterMath.info.